Hey, what's up? I'm Michael Alvarez. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you may have seen that I've been studying and practicing for the Cisco DevNet certifications. In the process, I have come across many SDA platforms, such as the Cisco ACI, which has a simulator that you can install in your PC. This simulator is a virtual appliance that simulates a complete Cisco ACI environment, from the AP controller to the leaf and spine switches. So let's see in this video how you can download and install the Cisco ACI simulator on VMware Workstation 15 for Windows 10. Let's do it. Okay. Here we are on the official website of the Cisco ACI simulator. If you want to learn what Cisco ACI offers, capabilities and features, you can explore the information on this page. For now, let's just go to the simulator download page by clicking on download ACI simulator. The simulator is in OVA format because it is deployed inside a pre-configured virtual machine which we are going to load in VMware Workstation. The appliance is divided in four parts and all parts are necessary to run the simulator. Each part is almost 10 GB, so the download will take a while. Let's get started. All right, here we have the four parts downloaded. The next step is to concatenate these four parts into a single file. There is a way to do it with Windows command line, but I decide to concatenate using the cat command in the Ubuntu console of the Windows Linux subsystem. We open the console, move to the files directory, and write cat plus the first letters of one of the files and press tab to autocomplete. Write asterisk. This asterisk saved me the time of writing the name of the four parts. Now, gradient then symbol and finally the name of the concatenated file. Immediately, we press enter and you will see that a new .ova file is created. This concatenation process can take a while depending on the capabilities of your computer. The first time I tried it, it took me about 25 minutes. So let's speed it up. Once concatenated, we simply double click and VMware Workstation will begin to import the virtual machine. This import process takes around 20 minutes. So let's speed it up. Once this process is completed, we are going to change the type of the network connections that the virtual machine brings. We are going to choose the host only type, which configures a private network between the virtual machine and the host, in this case, my computer. I'm choosing BNet1 in custom because I already have this virtual adapter configured as a host only for a specific subnet. We will do this with the two network interfaces. Done. Let's start the virtual machine. See how the ACI boot process begins. Next, we will see an interactive process of configuring the ACI infrastructure. The first configuration is to choose the type of topology. The Cisco ACI simulator has two topology types, large and small. The system says that by the default, the simulator topology consists of one AP controller, one leaf switch, and one spine switch. And that you can choose a large topology with three APICs controllers two leaf switches and two spine switches. 
It also says that at least 64 GB of RAM and 16 or more CPUs are recommended for large topology. Since my PC has 32 GB of RAM and 12 CPUs, I will select a small topology by writing no. Now the AP controller system is loading. From now on, there are a series of basic configurations in which we'll leave almost all the options in default. We will only make changes to the management IP address of the controller and the administrator password. Okay, here is the auction we expected. I'm going to configure an IP within the subnet of the BNet1. A default gateway, although I will not use it. And finally, press enter. Next, it asks me if I want to configure a strong password. I will say no, since I will use this for a lab and therefore, I'm not interested in having a complex password. I entered the password twice and that's it. Finally, we indicate that we do not want to edit the configuration so that the system process ends the boot process. The signal for you to know that the system is up is when you get this login. We proceed to open a browser and enter the IP that I configured previously in order to access the controller GUI. Here we enter the admin credentials that we defined previously. Oh, what's this error? Uh, here it says that the REST endpoint user authorization data store has not initialized yet. If you get this message, just click OK and wait one or two minutes. In the meantime, I will show you the utilization of my computing resources. As you can see, the platform has taken my memory consumption to 80%, 25 from 32 GB of RAM. The CPU remains low, around 25%, but memory is what is most consumed with this simulator. Okay, let's try logging again. Here we are inside the AP controller GUI. Here we see this welcome message with interesting information. I see here links to documentations, video tutorials, and support from Cisco and the community. We're going to quickly click on begin first time setup to continue. Uh, we see here how the same platform offer us an interactive menu to carry out the basic configuration of our ACI infrastructure. These configurations are beyond the scope of this tutorial, so let's click close. Finally, to conclude the installation process, let's add the switches to the fabric. Let's click on fabric, let's go to the topology to see what it contains.
we only see the APIC one controller to add the switches we have to go to fabric membership then no spending registration right click on the first node that appears in the list and select register we put a name for the first lift switch and choose an node ID then next we move to register nodes and wait for the node to appear and activate Once the node is active, uh, we return to node pending registration, refresh a couple of times, and in a few seconds, the second switch will appear. This switch, as you can see in the node type, is a spine switch. We will register it in the same way, which is a name and an OID. We move to register nodes and wait for the node to appear and activate. This process can take about a minute or more. Let's wait and refresh until they appear as active. Done. Let's go back to the topology. Ready. We already have completed the fabric to start using or configuring the Cisco ACI. Well, engineers, here is today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Don't forget to click like let me know in the comments how the installation process went. I would like to know what computing resources, memory, CPU your computers have and to what level of utilization the simulator took them. Subscribe so you can continue learning about network programmability and automation.